I did this. I designed this. This was me. I did it. Guys, when I say I messed it up for the 10th time, Hi guys, welcome back to a, another vlog, another day, another vlog, and today is going to be a good one because your girl bought a bunch of stuff from Ikea and we're gonna build it together and set it up and I'm really excited. But I'm sad because I brought my vlog camera to Ikea to vlog me like buying the stuff and when I got there I realized that my memory card for my camera wasn't in my camera. So I didn't get any content from that but that's okay because I'm gonna give you guys a haul and we are going to build it. I'm a little nervous to build this stuff because because I'm not a builder and usually my sister helps me, but she's busy right now, so I have to do it by myself. So cool. But my baby is sleeping, and I figured we could go build it while I watch some YouTube of Samantha Joe. And yeah, welcome back. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe because I love you all. And I need to stop procrastinating. I look extra cute today. JK, I'm adorable, okay? I want to learn how to wink cutely. Like that looks so stupid. Like some girls just know how to wink and some girls don't and I do not. Like some girls wink and they look so cute and I do not. Okay, let's go be Bob the Builder and build stuff. Okay guys, time for an Ikea haul. So first we'll start with the big items. This is my coffee table that we're gonna build and this, I don't actually know what it's called but I'll just build it and show you guys. It's gonna go in my dining room and I feel like it's gonna add a lot of character to the house. So I'm excited for that. Not excited to build it, but we're gonna do it together so it's gonna be fine. And then I got these little plants. Um, my friend told me that these can never die and I actually used to have a cactus and I could never kill it. These are like not my first plants, but my first multiple plants technically. I'm trying to hype myself up over them. So I got some plants. And then I got this vase, it's really cute. And I got just like these fake things to put in it. And then I have my own eucalyptus that I'm gonna put in it. So I got that, just some decor pieces. And then I got these really cute like candle holders, like candle sticks. And then like you put these into them. And I am super excited. It's like, it's like a sagey green color too. And I feel like it's just so cute. The last thing I got from Ikea is this like, it's a cutting board. But I'll, I'll try to find a picture and insert my inspiration for my kitchen somewhere on the screen. But basically it has like a lip and then you leave it on your counter at all times and it adds like decor, but then it's also practical because you can use it. And it's just really pretty. And I feel like it's gonna add a lot of cuteness to my kitchen, which I'm gonna do a kitchen makeover video eventually. But I'm collecting things that I love slowly. But okay guys, let's do the task that I don't want to do and it is building this stuff. Ikea is great because it's like affordable and good quality but it is so hard to build them like when I built my dining table if you guys remember I didn't do it my sister did but it was a lot of work watching my sister do it but now I'm gonna do it so okay I gotta work myself up to build it let's just let's just do it we can do it let's do it guys I guess let's do the coffee table first because it's smaller so I'm hoping that that means it's easier. Probably not, but let's find out. Also, I hope I picked the right size because they had three different size options and I picked the medium size one. So let's hope. I didn't want it to be too big, but I didn't want it to be too small, but let's see. I should probably get like a knife or something, but I'm too lazy to stand up again. So we're gonna try to open this ourselves. Knife is here. Ooh, satisfying. This is the color of the table. It matches my dining table. Not exactly, but close enough. Okay, let's build it. Okay, I think it's saying to put these screws into these holes. I'm so confused. I need like more elaborate instructions. Like, look at that. Can you guys see that? How is that an instruction? I need like words, not pictures. Well, I want both, but I guess you go like this and you turn it. Keep turning, just keep turning, just keep. Ugh. This is a workout for my arms, guys. Ow. Okay, guys, I did it. Woohoo! We don't need no man. Okay, guys, on to the next step. My wrist is killing me from turning things that fast. Okay, going to screw this bad boy in now. It's harder than it looks, guys. It's not going in. It's not going in. I feel like this is the moment I need a drill, and I know that we have a drill, but do I want to go get it? No. Like, it's literally not even making a dent. Ugh, it's not even going in. Okay, guys, toolkit has entered the party. 
Now to figure out how to use a bureau. My husband has these fancy tools he was so excited to buy. And I was like, who's excited to spend $300 on this? He was like, look, it has a flashlight on it. And I was like, what? Where's the thing at the end of this that you screw with? You know what I mean? I don't know. Okay guys, I found it. My husband is so funny. He's like, um, don't use my toolkit. You're gonna wreck it. And I was like, found this little piece that attaches to this. Let's see if we can put it in there. This is so complicated. There's no instructions. Like it's just falling out. I feel like I see him tighten it, but how? Maybe like this. Ooh, ooh, slay. That scared me. We're gonna try not to do this upside down because I feel like that is something I would do. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see the problem here? Do you guys see the problem of what I just did? I'm dumb. I screwed it here, right? And this is the side of the table. And I'm assuming that it was supposed to be inwards, like here. <sighs> it's cool. I feel like I could just turn this. It might be a little looser, but that's okay. Okay? No one, no one has to know. Let's see if I did it. So I should be able to take this bad boy and put the bottom piece in. And if it falls, I didn't do it properly. But if it doesn't, then I have become Bob the Builder. We're going in. What in the heck? What? Guys, when I say I messed it up for the 10th time, I am not kidding. Let me explain this to you. I put the screws on the inside, right? Facing like this way, right? Like, can you guys see where the screws are? I don't know. But the thing doesn't fit. And I was like, wait, did they give me the wrong piece? No, it goes in this way. I thought it would go in this way, but no, it goes in this way. <laughs> it is not open. Okay guys, I just had to get over a bit of a almost mental breakdown but you know i did it anyways i just took the screws out with my mistake and re-screwed them in at the proper spot okay see now it fits am i missing something but the other screws are too long step 500 of things that i've messed up today and i'm just not gonna add the last screws because i'm annoyed i thought that i was supposed to use the small smaller size so there's like these screws right and one is shorter and one is longer and i used the shorter ones because I thought I was supposed to but I read the instructions wrong I was supposed to use the longer ones because this like thing is really thin so they have the shorter ones for this to like screw it in but I'm just gonna not screw it in and I give up and my husband can fix it because I'm over it I'm not about to re-screw these but you know what coffee table done it's really cute let's show you guys what it looks like it's just a very cute simple one that matches my dining table almost perfectly it looks like this we still have to build this but a coffee table done okay guys when i got my nightstands i got these to cover holes and it's not the exact tone but at least it will hide this tiny little hole maybe i'll glue them down but look at that no that looks horrible never mind Forget that. Psych. But honestly, the table looks pretty good. We're getting a new couch soon, hopefully, that isn't gray. And I think it will match really well. And I like the rug. Honestly, guys, I keep telling myself that I should not build the second thing and that I should wait until either my sister can do it for me or my husband does it. But like content, I'm trying to make content for you guys. So I'm gonna attempt to build it. So you guys should like subscribe because the things I'm doing for you guys, like this is exhausting, okay? I don't like building stuff, I'm bad at it, and that's why I don't do it. I got my Pepsi to give me a little bit of a boost because I was feeling a little depressed there for messing it up so bad. I just hate that my husband is gonna see it if he does and then fix it and then be like, hmm, interesting, hmm. And I don't want him to win, you know what I mean? I don't want him to be right, okay, okay? <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, that's not girly at all. This thing I'm nervous for because Hmm Not gonna cry, we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. That really freaking hurt. 
Anyways, I'm nervous to build this one because it is a lot bigger and a lot more pieces. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm just a girl who has a mental breakdowns and can't build shit, but it's like cool. Subscribe. <laughs> together the wrong wood. I'm gonna need a minute. Okay guys, second attempt. I took it apart and I think I fixed it. Still don't know. Let's time lapse this and hopefully it's easier for the second shelf. guys i finished it it is 9 30 so i've been doing this for three hours the amount of times i've taken this crap apart is ridiculous honestly guys i'm probably going to show you guys the results tomorrow because the amount of tears that have been shed since doing this has been ridiculous and i just need to go to bed it'll feel like this for you guys but i actually need that time to like relax because i'm really frustrated and this was like way too much for me i'm exhausted i will set this up tomorrow and show you guys how it turned out tomorrow a little sneak peek looks good and I'll update you guys tomorrow. Okay, hi guys, it is the next day. I'm feeling a lot better. Yesterday I was upset because nothing was going my way, but we're back and we're better. And to finish up my dining room, I got a few things off Amazon and from Winners, but I got the end chairs. If you've watched my vlogs before, then you saw my sister help me set up my dining table and chairs. And the end chairs for the dining table was out of stock, but I just got them and we're gonna set it up now and then finish the dining room. And then I'll give you guys a tour of how the dining room turned out. I'm really excited. It's literally like my dream dining room, but let's set up these chairs. If I recall, they're really easy to do, so. Guys, I'm so excited because I did like a different type of chair for the ends than the other ones. I can't wait to show you guys. I did this like armrest chair. And I'm really excited. Ooh, look how nice that is. Luckily, their instructions is a lot easier than Ikea's because if this was an Ikea thing, I would be having a meltdown. Let's see how long that took me. That took me 25 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna build the second one off camera and then I'll show you guys how it turned out. Okay guys, um, I decided not to do the haul on the winter stuff because I got really impatient and just set it all up. So I'll still show you guys where everything's from when I show you the dining room, but I did get some things from Amazon. So I got this sunset lamp and basically you can just change the colors just to you know make the house more vibey. And then this isn't for the dining room, but it's for the kitchen, which I'll be doing in a later vlog, but I'll give you guys a sneak peek but it's basically these under cabinet lights and they're like magnetic so you put them there and then you take them off to charge them and they're wireless and they have a remote with a timer and on and off and i'm so excited but yeah i finished building the other chair and it's so freaking pretty i want to show you guys i'm just wondering if there's anything else i need to get because i want to show you guys the finished dining room makeover but oh my gosh it's looking so good keep watching because this is like the dream dining room. Let me give you guys a sneak peek, okay? Okay, here's your guys' little sneak peek. It's not much, but it's something. 
Wait till you guys see what's over there because that looks incredible. But this is a little sneak peek for you. That's how the chair turned out. It is so comfy and so cute. I think they match really well. Let me know. Comment down below. Do they match or no? I'm feeling really gross because I've been go, go, go all day today. It's literally 7 o'clock. So I think I'm going to go take a shower and relax. And then tomorrow I think I can give you guys the reveal for my dining room. My dream dining room. Like this is my dream dining room, okay? I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, guys. Hi. It is the next day. And I'm finally ready to show you guys the finished dining room and literally I'm so excited. It looks so good. It's literally my dream come true. Everything about this dining room just screams me. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching along on my meltdowns building this stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. So let's show you guys the tour. Here it comes. Let's do it. overview of my dining room oh my gosh stop it looks so good this table is from ikea i'm sure everyone has seen it a million times but it's just the very simple rounded edges dining table and all of my dining chairs are from Boucler, which by the way i feel like Boucler is totally underhyped because they did me justice with these chairs they're so affordable and they look so cute and they're so comfy and then on top i literally just have these candlesticks and these holders they were also from ikea so freaking cute and then to my favorite part it took me forever to build but i think turned out so worth it is this little shelf it is also from ikea i just have some toys for my son at the bottom here and some books. I want to get cuter little bins, but for now that's all I have. And then right here I have some coffee table books that are from Winners and this candle is from Indigo. And then over here I have these little cactuses from Ikea as well. So freaking cute. So that vase is from Winners. This picture is from Winners. These coasters are from Indigo. They were a gift from my friend. This little fruit bowl is from Winners also. This super cute, it's a six foot olive tree. That that is from Amazon, it is so affordable. But the pot for the olive tree is from Home Depot. But yeah, oh my gosh. I think it turned out better than I could have hoped. It is so freaking cute. Literally obsessed. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Also guys, I did have a rug underneath here, but I did take it out because it was really cute, but just not practical at all. So rug is not there because it's not practical, but it still looks cute. Guys, literally stop. I did this. I designed this. This was me. I did it. Okay, but yeah, that is my finished dining room. Comment down below what you guys think. I'm gonna be doing my kitchen next soon and one of the next vlogs will be my kitchen makeover but that being said i'm gonna end the vlog i love you guys so much and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye thanks for watching oh my gosh literally love it okay 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 bye